Yo, what it do, SRT gang? It's your boy with the fat swaggy reacts, and we are back with another reaction video, man. And it's scary hour, and y'all know what time it is, man. Like, like tonight we're gonna be checking out a video from Chills, man. Shout, shout to Chills. Tonight we're gonna be checking out uh, ten videos. Like, so scary you'll probably cry. We'll see about that, man, because y'all know Chills normally drops some real interesting videos and or whatever. So if you guys checking this video out for the first time, I drop one of these every night at midnight, man. So make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me on all my social medias down in the description below, man. If you try to reach me, the best way is to hit me up on one of my, uh, again, like, social medias. So I ain't finna hold y'all up, man. Without further ado, man, hit that thumbs up button, man. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes. Let's get into it, gang. Let's get into it. Let's rock. A YouTuber named the Inception of Yara Phoenix oh, captures no, a scary no, moment no, on no. camera. Like, why is he slut hammering so close to my man's head like that, dog? What is that? Like, seriously? YouTuber named the Inception of Yara Phoenix captures a scary moment on camera while exploring India. While doing some kind of construction work, a member of this crew holds a bro, spike in place no while another's. Bro, cause the second that he missed, like what if he missed, bro? It's over for my mans, bro. Swings a heavy hammer a few feet from his head. The man is leaning away as far as he can, but with no helmet and no other kind of protection, not even a barrier to keep pedestrians from walking into him. It really does seem like a matter of time before something really scary happens. Take a listen for yourself. And he's one miss in your. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like if he misses one time, bro, it is over for him, bro. Like I'm telling you, he gonna hit him right in the back of the head. Those are some heavy blows that there would be no recovering from if a mistake were to happen. I can only imagine how scary it would be to be working in that position, putting your life in the hands of somebody else who you probably barely know, hearing the sound of the hammer coming so close over and over again. This scary moment caught on tape is no doubt 100% real, Ain't and this no is way. exactly what makes it Ain't so no terrifying. Way. Uncharted Travel is the name of a ghost hunting YouTube channel who goes exploring an abandoned children's mental asylum at 3am. With over a hundred years of terrifying history involving cases of neglect and mistreatment, this derelict mental asylum is supposed to be one of the scariest and most haunted places in Baltimore. Almost Man. immediately the ghost hunters think they hear movement coming from upstairs, weird noises that I can just barely hear kind of like children's footsteps. They're upstairs. There's somebody walking upstairs. The creepy sound. I mean, I can't hear no footsteps. Can y'all hear some? Cause I can barely hear, hear. They're upstairs. There's somebody walking upstairs. The creepy sounds are followed by much scarier noises. Upstairs. I heard that. That was a bang. They go exploring the second floor of the not so abandoned but almost certainly haunted children's mental asylum in search of the scary noises. And that's when their paranormal investigation uncovers a mysterious brick wall sectioning off a part of the asylum with a child sized hole in it. It's a creepy mm. moment for sure, and not exactly something you would expect to find at 3 a.m. And maybe it's just me, but this looks like it might be a hidden room with bars behind the brick wall. Across from a children's playroom with two creepy dolls is a holding room with weird drawings on the wall and much higher up, two round holes, perhaps marking where a caretaker lost their temper. Or it could have been just the door. Can you see the door? You know, if you slam the door open, it's going to leave a hole. Maybe. I don't know, man. They go exploring the rest of the rooms and start to retrace their steps to see if they missed anything. And that's when one of the ghost hunters has a scary moment and comes running back to the group. No, 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 The door just opened by itself. No, no, no. no. Which one? That door just opened by itself. I do believe this part and I'll tell you why. It's because there's an apparition behind them that I bet you didn't even see. 
As he runs downstairs screaming about a ghost opening the door, oh. a scary ghost faces in the window, eyes and all. Wow. It appears again at 28 minutes and 26 wow. seconds. A stretched out ghost face in the window, or perhaps <laughs> it's their flashlight shining into the dirty glass. Wow. I'm not sure which. All I know is a half a minute later, all remnants of this bizarre ghost face in the window are completely gone. So I think it could have been a paranormal ghost sighting after all. Also, when they go upstairs to test the door that the ghost allegedly opens, they get more paranormal evidence on their equipment. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting big readings over here, Dan. I wonder why. <laughs> the beeping of their equipment turns into a solid note when they get within close proximity to the door. Notice how this solid note of paranormal evidence happens again when he actually opens the door. Dan, those dolls are in a completely different place from when we last saw them. Coincidentally, this is the same door leading into the children's playroom, and unless the ghost hunters reposition them, wow. at least one of the two creepy dolls moved by itself since the last time they were in here. So yeah, don't go exploring this abandoned mental asylum at 3 a.m. Because apparently you'll see some. You know where we going? Nowhere at 3 a.m. But sleep. I am. I am dead to the world at 3 a.m. I'm not up looking for ghost. The world. Truly weird things. A YouTube channel called Adventure with Hodge goes on an urban exploration of an abandoned factory and it turns out to be one of the scariest places he has ever explored. Something feels wrong with the creepy location from the very start and they begin to wonder if this place is really abandoned after all. Weary, not gonna lie. The basement feels downright spooky with only one flashlight between them. The urban explorers are too scared to venture far, especially when they discover a creepy message spelling out their You're fate. In what? You're in his home. Wonderful. Wow. Well, get the hell out. Duh. We just decided to go back in the basement with this hurt something. That was loud. On the basement floor is another haunting discovery in the form of an abandoned jacket. Why would someone leave their jacket down here, Hodge wonders. I personally couldn't help but notice it's kid sized, and this is certainly no place for a child. Right. Someone scary must have taken them to this horrible location. Oh, someone man. twisted and deranged. The two friends are beyond creeped out. Twisted and deranged. See, I know. I, I, I mean, someone says something about Chill's voice every time I, I look in the comment section. I know, gang. You just gotta get used to his voice. That's all, man. That's all. You just gotta get used to it. But at the same time, curious enough to go exploring past the creepy warning on the wall. Bad decision. Right. It's time to go. Right, time damn, to go. that was loud. That was loud as hell. <laughs> Somewhere in the darkness, a heavy object falls over, and the loud, scary noise they capture on tape makes them cry out in surprise and run away while apologizing. This part deserves a closer analysis because it's scary stuff indeed. They are exploring the middle of the basement, nothing within arm's reach. When an unseen object either crashes or is thrown to the ground, Hodge is holding the camera and you can see his friend's elbow right before the scary noise is caught on video, so he's standing too close. Whatever caused this unexplained event can't be them. Plus, listen to how he later describes this creepy encounter caught on tape. Majority of the video, we were exploring the basement of this abandoned factory. We kept hearing noises, felt like something was following us, and lo and behold, something followed us and we were chased out the basement. I see no signs that he's lying, no deceit in his eyes, only enthusiasm at the thought of having a scary and maybe even paranormal encounter caught on tape, so I believe this creepy video is as real as he says. A user named Josiah Worley has some of the best paranormal evidence on TikTok of a ghost haunting his room on the attic floor. He's recording his game table after a card leaped off the deck and soon a cup is moving by itself. Oh, no, and more no, accurately, a ghost no. is moving the cup if you ask Josiah. He handles the cup immediately after and you can see there is no string. On another night with one hand on the camera and the other hand on the mattress, Josiah watches an object move by itself. 
Mom? And later it crawls across the floor. Bro. What the hell is going on in this man? Are you good, bro? You good, bro? Do you see any strings? Did you guys see it move? There are no editing cuts when he walks wow. up to the medicine bottle. Hey, nice. This object moved on its own. This happens night after night until finally he tries to communicate with the ghost. He makes the mistake of acting annoyed, which I think ramps things up considerably. What's good? You're kind of making noises. You're kind of being really loud. It's really irritating. Okay. In my opinion, the ghost wants nothing more than to be acknowledged, but Josiah wants nothing more than to be left alone. It's a conflict that's bound to create paranormal tension in the long run. The paranormal activity doesn't stop and so he gets in the habit of recording his room all of the time. It's almost sunrise. Almost sunrise. What was that? Whoa. Where'd that go? This ghost orb in particular curves around and appears in front of him when he wants to know what it is. The it's caption like says maybe a I mean it looked like an orb, but I really don't know. Like it could have been like a light, possibly something like that. I don't know, maybe. I should ignore it, but in my opinion, that will only make things even more unpleasant for him in the long run. I think the ghost hates being ignored and is moving objects because it refuses to go unheard. I don't think it wants Josiah out of the apartment. When he says he's going to move out is when it becomes absolutely enraged. Oh, I'm gonna f end up leaving. If oh, anything, it no. wants him to keep it company forever. Josiah decides to use a ghost hunting TikTok filter called the Reality Ripple to finally catch a ghost sighting on his phone camera. It isn't long before objects are moving on their own again, and the colors on his screen change to indicate a ghost is near. Do you guys hear that? Like an attic, though. No, 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 that, no, no, that doesn't make sense. No, stop. While looking at this still frame, gaze into the paranormal energy, you can see a yellow phantom figure reaching out. I've circled its head with long hair and pointed at its arm to help you better see it. The figure seems to be grabbing at the area where the object fell over. All of this creeps Josiah out badly enough to ask the ghost, point blank, to do something specific if he's safe. I got one question for you. Am I safe? If I am, then please knock over the cups. Oh, oh hell, hell no. <laughs> the cup does not move by itself, but the ghost does push a bag off the table. Yo, this meaning, meaning you're not safe, my guy, so it's time to go. Just, just... I understand the ghost is gonna be upset, but it is what it is. He's a ghost. Just let him be mad. This is definitely a reply, and I guess it means that he's not safe because it exactly. moves a different object than the one exactly. he asked it to. Yep. Ever since then, things have quieted down, so maybe Josiah just needed to ask for permission to live here, or maybe this strange and cryptic poltergeist is biding its time, letting him lower his guard before moving on to the next phase of his horrible haunting. Mm -hmm. While staying at a hotel room in Ireland, Roisin O'Brien grabs her dad to show him something bizarre. A ghost is moving a cup on its own, she tells him. Of course, nothing happens and she looks like a total liar until suddenly. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's freaky. Yeah. The cup moves That's all by freaky. itself to the edge of the glass shelf and then stops. There is no string around it that I can see. And besides, she is holding her phone and her dad is sitting on the bed clear across the room with his back turned. So no one was messing with it. She resets it and as soon as she complains that it takes the ghost a long time, the cup moves instantly. Like it's taking ages for it to go. Like, oh. <laughs> so let's just say that. Like, and they sitting there laughing like this is an everyday thing. Like this is a game or something. So you just fine with okay. There was string tied around the cup. Whatever. 
Her father Whatever. is now standing to the right of Whatever. her. Whatever. So if it was him, then the cup should pull to the right in his direction. Instead, it moves straight ahead and stops exactly on the edge of the shelf, same as before. The shelf is level and there is no moisture around the rim to make it slide like that. This is glass on glass. You can hear the friction. It just like to go. <laughs> She's right. The cup is moving on its own, maybe from a ghost. A camping trip goes from relaxing to terrifying after a series of bizarre lights leaves one camper sure that he's being watched. There, they're, they're started again. Whoa. These unexplained lights continued with no sound well into the night. And no, it's not lightning from afar if that's what you were thinking. He is pointing the camera straight ahead, not up in the sky. It's crossing the screen. But you're gonna want... Whoa! Now did you see what I'm talking about? This part shows less detail. Like, 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 I mean, I see it, but it's like... It ain't... Face about but it. the angle proves that this is not lightning at all. This is where it, it kind of creeps me out. Oh, there it is again. No lightning because it's the same area every time and there's no clouds anywhere. There's a clear sky. He makes it through the night and later reflects that something, paranormal or otherwise, was trying to set a trap for him. He's glad he chose trap. not to explore that area. So that strange incident took place in September of 2015. I want you to compare that video incident to another video taken two years later by someone completely different. These wispy lights appear at the same height and look exactly the same. The silent show has the same amber glow when zoomed in. This time the lights are more frequent and hang around for longer than before. What could cause such a flash in the night is beyond me and beyond creepy too. And then something new happens. 10 minutes and 46 seconds is when three white lights form and hang in the sky. If you connect the skylights, you'll see they take the shape of a flying triangular disc. The light in the middle grows brighter as it- I mean, I mean, I mean, I see it, but I, I, no, I ain't buying it, I ain't buying it. Turns to meet his camera and then the giant slow moving maneuvers itself away from him. Out of sight, the lights are definitely moving as one and never do they break shape or formation. And when you go to the comments section, you'll see it's flooded with people from all over the world who say they have seen the same strange lights at night in their area and come across this video looking for an explanation. None of them have ever provided a satisfying answer and the unexplained lights persist. Alex Griffin runs a sports channel nowadays, but years ago he was briefly into conducting paranormal investigations at the most haunted places he could find. One such foray was the exploration of Borlay Church, a place where organs are said to play by themselves and chanting can be heard from inside. There's also the ghost of Katie Borham, a housemaid who was said to have lost her life under mysterious circumstances that could have involved unknowingly ingesting toxic chemicals. Katie is the ghost what? they are hunting tonight, and so Alex Griffin and his friends logically start exploring the old haunted cemetery for paranormal evidence. They make the mistake of disrespecting her name along the way and start hearing some scary noises soon after. Uh, I don't know what to say. Just shout out, Katie. Katie. What the f What the f the amateur investigators run away. I mean, but what did they say to disrespect her name? Like, what did they say? Away at first, but soon agree that they can't leave the mystery unsolved and need to find more paranormal evidence. They return to the cemetery, and the bravest of them steps forward to taunt Katie into showing herself. See? So I didn't see anything, but he senses a ghost and I tend to believe him. After all, he was the one trying to impress his friends the hardest, so I don't think he'd run away like that and risk embarrassing himself unless he was really scared. Right. The paranormal investigators step forward as one, and a single light glows in the woods even when their camera is not shining on it. It's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever recorded, but the timing is definitely odd and makes you wonder what this light could be. And with their backs turned, the noise returns. 
It sounds like one of them would have thrown a rock or something and hits the top of the tin roof. But then again, this is exactly the kind of paranormal activity that this place is known for. It's years later and not one of them stepped forward to take credit for throwing a rock and scaring the group. So maybe this supposed paranormal activity is real after all. A mysterious and creepy video of a seemingly haunted stuffed toy moving on its own has this woman so freaked out that she's probably going to cry. The woman is busy looking at her phone when the object moves towards her multiple times, stopping every time she glances up. Each time, its movements are so slight that she's not even sure if the object is really moving or not. At 3 minutes and 19 seconds, she grabs the stuffed toy and brings it near. But less than a minute later, the possessed toy flings itself across the bench and she runs away screaming. What the fuck? I want to say that this video is fake, but you can see the entire room. So if it was someone holding a string, I'm not sure where the- Like, where would the string be at? Like, do you Nah, like this look like it, it could be real. Cause I don't see no string nowhere at all. They would be standing. Multiple instances of objects moving on their own has a YouTuber named Callum Tonner convinced that his Seattle house is haunted by a fearsome poltergeist. Lots of bizarre activity is frequently caught on camera. So I'm going to analyze the top five videos of best paranormal evidence. In the first weird video, he claims to find a coat hanger swinging back and forth in the closet. I will say that they could have pushed the object themselves before recording and then pretended it was a ghost. Right. Normally, I would say this video is fake, except this is far from the only scary event in which objects were caught on camera moving on their own. And the other videos are much harder to explain. Later that night, with the haunted closet behind him and its doors open, a completely different object is caught moving on camera on its own. What the hell? Yo, what is going on? <laughs> what was that? Even if you were moving a magnetic object under the table, I still don't think it would be strong enough to move the other objects through the heavy wooden desk. He creates awesome. the paranormal experiment again four nights later, and if you weren't able to tell what the two objects are, it's a flashlight moving across a phone that's turned on. And here's the thing, any magnetic force strong enough to move an object that large should also cause damage to the phone, which it doesn't. Right. The phone right. is fine, and therefore I think a ghost is moving the flashlight. Four more nights later, the ghost has apparently taken to shuffling through his private card collection. What the hell? Even more haunting paranormal activity is caught on camera without any explanation. If you were thinking that he bent the cards or something to make them fall over, but not what's happening, you can see more of the cards Bro. in this video. They look perfectly straight and evenly balanced, so tell me how these sturdy objects are caught on tape moving. Paranormal activity is all I can think for these super creepy and mysterious- Yo, like, y'all know how I feel about the paranormal activity. Like, I believe in that paranormal activity bullshit, bro. I really do. I do. It's events, but I'm open to any other explanation. I've got a challenge for you. It's chill one. A YouTuber named Yuya makes a video about microwavable desserts, but it accidentally turns into a- Like, microwavable desserts? creepy doll video instead. The doll is caught moving on camera at 7 minutes and 14 seconds. The doll moves its arms by itself at the end of the video for no reason at all. It has nothing to do with the topic of the video, and everyone is pointing out how weird it was. I don't think she was doing this for views, because right. if so, then it would most likely happen in the very beginning. Besides right. that, with over 20 million subscribers, Yuya is already a- God damn, 20 million? I mean, can I have some? 20 million subscribers, bro. Besides that, with over 20 million subscribers, Yuya is already a successful YouTuber and wouldn't need to do something like this for attention anyway. It never That's happens crazy. again and hasn't happened since as far as I know. But if any other creepy doll videos end up on her channel, which wow, I have a feeling bro. they will, then I will be sure to give them a full analysis. I was looking for more. That's 
Crazy, bro. Shouts out to Chills, man. That was 10 very scary videos that are proud to make you cry. I don't think I'm crying, though. I mean, but Chills, he, like, he tried. He tried, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like, let me know what you guys thought about this reaction, man, by liking or disliking the video. Also, like, which one was scariest to you guys, bro? Like, honestly, honestly, like, majority of them was cool, but her having them 20 ass to... I mean, 20 subscribers is more scary than, than a video, to be honest. God damn, I can just imagine her timeline. But shouts out to her, man. Like, shouts out to Chills again for dropping this banger for us. Um, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss another that I drop tomorrow. Hopefully, Nuke will be dropping one tomorrow. So, so definitely be tuned in for that, man. And SRT Game, I am out this thing, man. Let's get it.